ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to the Phillips Cup Series Season 5 Race Number 6. We are here at Michigan International Speedway, I believe, for the SoundCloud 400. And that is something I want to mention. Actually, I've just noticed, just a few moments before I start this race, that it is actually a 400 mile race. I mean, like, it's, the racetrack is 2 miles. As far as I know. <laughs> and the uh, length of the race is 200 laps. So, well, apparently it is, fi it is 400 and not 500 miles. So here we have the SoundCloud 400. Check out SoundCloud. The song in the beginning you heard, 21 Guns, uh, covered by me. That was also on SoundCloud. And you can find a lot more of my songs on there. Front row, starting row is something really fun. Here we have John Cittadino on the pole position, the runner-up from last season. And here we have Larissa Vandervoet, number 72, the season champion, or the champion of last season. So number one and two are starting on the front row, although then switched. So that is really funny, I thought. Also, uh, a couple of things I want to mention. Uh, of course, uh, a few moments ago when it's with the starting grid, you got to pay attention to the background. You see cars now over there and some poles and stuff and there are some more funny things over here. There you see um, more cars and stuff. Well, I just uh, noticed I um, for the Talladega races, Star Starbucks Super Speedway Series, um, I turned down or the trackside objects, I made them some and I'm um, in the adjustments not all so I changed that to save fraps or um, fraps for the FPS to save FPS whoops but um, well now I turn them back again because of course we don't need it at this racetrack and then one last thing we of course there I just checked it or I'll just check it I checked it a few days ago you uh, also follow the um, Phillips Cup Series on uh, Facebook. There's a lot of information I put on there. Um, one of those things was uh, there were five people who hadn't commented on either one of the first five races. And of course, I said in the last race, um, it will probably be one of the first six races. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh. um, I changed that. It will be one of the first five races. And the reason I did that is, well, because, well, I just want to continue and i've given them long enough to come so there were five people who did not comment or actually three people with five drivers which were jake smith devon smith second in points um tyler everest third in points um zach austin and zach zachary brown who used to be what seventh in points or so so it means the whole point system has sh shuffled now Means that Inge Lambliana is a points leader. And now Jocelyn van der Aert is second in points. Trey Spencer and Aiden Spencer third and fourth. And Keith Black fifth. That's how things have changed up. What? Who are those replacement um, drives? We already have five of them. There's the two car of Austin Ogo. Uh, he closed his account. That, that be, that's why he was removed. But now he is back again. Uh, three car of Anne Batson. Of course, uh, she has two paint schemes. And this is one of them. The other one I still have to... Uh, switch. I have to switch because I noticed that the one I downloaded was with the GNS uh, physics, so it does not take that car, but I will fix it. Don't worry about that. Anne Batson, wife of um, Keith Batson. Uh, then we got the sixth car of Jacob Winston, the eighth car of Emily Michaels, the mother of J uh, Joshua Michaels, and I just put her in this eighth car. Joshua, if you want her to have another car, that's no problem. Tell me then, but I will not paint another car because I have already enough painted. Oh, Renesma Brown posts something on Facebook. Well, fair enough. She's not in this race anyway because there is Lisa Brown. Coincidence. And then we got the 44, and I have to pronounce it right. I think it's Blake Housechild. But I'm really not sure how, pronou how to pronounce it. I thought at first it was Blake Housechild. Uh, it sounds a bit German, but I have no clue. So, well, that's it. Pretty short race, though. Here we have it. John Cittadino on the pole. And Lurse van der Voet on the outside pole. Then we got 
09 car of Jane Pinter and the 19 car of Sam Young. Jane Pinter actually he had a concussion after the fourth race, which was at Watkins Glen. He suffered a concussion, but he's fine to race, so there he is. Well, everybody survived the dirt race with a record of 11 cautions. Holy smoke. Well, we're going to Syracuse at the end of the uh, season. Chase race at Est, actually. And that will be a, also a dirt race, but less cautions. But ladies and gentlemen, now we are at Michigan for the SoundCloud 400. And we are green flag racing with John Cittadino on the pole. Oh, there we go. Trouble. And I think it was the eight car, 48 car who went around. And the 3 car, Ann Batson. Shame for her. Anna Gregg involved. Nick Caps, Evan Gattuso, Thea Stiegel. And not sure if there are others with problems. Oh, we got more problems, I think. Ooh, we missed quite some guys over here. Oh, Jocelyn van der Aert on the apron. Look out, girl. Second in points. And I think that was it. Well, still turn one crash, uh, kind of expected it, cautions on this racetrack, usually there's one in lap, uh, I just did a test race, one in lap one, and on lap, well, immediately after this uh, the restart again, but then we, will, we had a long green flag stretch, so, well, really no clue how the cautions will play out, we will not have as many cautions though, as at um, the um, dirt race. Obviously, because, well, one thing is because we don't have that many laps. So I will skim through the field just for a moment. There's Austin Ogo. He has survived it. And also Emily Michaels has survived it. Uh, Blake Housechild or Housechild has survived it. I will probably say that a couple of times wrong. And Batson, though, shame for her, has not. Max Power, Anna Gregg, Evan Gattuso and Nick Caps. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look what happened over here. I think it was the 48 car or the 3 car. It was a black car who got turned around and then moved right into traffic again. Big crash on turn number 1 on lap 1. And Batson was just completely innocent in this. The 59 car of Daniki Kalissi and the 9 car of Ron Anderson. Ron Anderson, by the way, now 10th in points. Are going to make, con make contact over here there very early already and then they turn right down into Ann Batson and then Ann Batson gets turned around by the 9 car again and right in front of the 48 car so indirectly Ryan Anderson took out his buddy Max Power so ooh and that was a hard hit for the 29 car and up front here there were a couple of very hard hits too but we'll go to that um, now Ryan Anderson of course got turned around or no actually Ryan Anderson Turned somebody around. And then he moved down. Tried to save it. And then he got turned around by Theo Stiegel. And I think... I'm not even sure if Ron Anderson was alright. But the 28 car took out Evan Gattuso right there. And he... Ooh. I think he really went hard into that wall. Theo Stiegel. Bad luck Theo. Look at this. He slides right in front of Evan Gattuso. Oh, that indeed was a very hard hit for Theo Stiegel. He had a good run, actually. He finished in 6th, I think. At uh, Yeah, indeed. He finished in 6th position at uh, Utica, Rome Speedway. But now he has bad luck and he went around just because some people in front of him made contact. We go to spectator view... Yes, indeed. Here we go. Spectator view full speed. Wow. And Nick Caps just nowhere to go for him. And all these guys. With a lot of damage. And I thought somebody went around over here. But I th there was nothing. Well, oh, there. Yeah, some people scraped the wall. I think it's the 89 car of Sam Brady who did that. But it doesn't matter, ladies and gentlemen. We got John Cittadino, runner from last season, in the lead. And also, got to mention, Daytona 500 winner of this season. So, John Cittadino in the lead. Let's take 
you to the creamy flack. Here we are again with John Cittadino in the lead. Second is Jane Pinter. Third is Evelyn Lauderer. Fourth is Aiden Spencer again having a good run. And Trey Spencer in fifth position. The Spencers are really good race car drivers, I, mean, I noticed. I mean, they are third and fourth in points and they are doing really great. Jackson Phillips is sixth. Seventh is Lars Vandervoet, fell way back. Eighth is points leader Ingela Amuliana. By the way, just to mention, Ingela Amuliana now has a 31 points lead over Jocelyn van Aert who is second in points because of the most uh, the two people who were right behind her they all uh, went got out of this series so that just or uh, Ingela Ambliana must have been very happy with it I mean like 31 points wow that's amazing Jacob Winston rookie in the ninth position and tenth is Joseph Nesto four of guys have retired there you can see it, Ann Batson, Theo Stiegel, Max Power, and Nick Caps. And then uh, Nick Caps, by the way, was 11th in points. And then uh, the five car is a lap down, and Anger Greg is still on the lead lap. She made a short pit stop, but she has damage, so she will not be up to speed. Let's see how big uh, issues the five car of Evan Gattuso will cause. And maybe if uh, Jane Pinter... Evelyn Lutter or somebody behind there can catch the 33 car of John Cidadino who is trying to go for his second win of the season. But it's still early. Evelyn Lutter trying to make it side by side with the 09 car but that's not really smart because indeed there is Aiden Spencer coming right near him and where is the 5 car? Ooh, he's holding up the bunch and we got trouble over here. The 19 car goes around. And we missed him. Damn it. There he goes. Sam Young can continue his way. A lot of damage though to Lisa Brown. Man, the 42 is having some bad runs lately. And here's Jane Pinter trying to go for the lead. But he cannot make it happen. That's a shame. For him. John C. Dean and Jane Pinter. Evelyn Lauderer. Then we got, oh man, Aiden Spencer almost got wrecked under caution. Well, this racetrack is, is a little bit of a bunching up under caution. I remember season one, we had a huge stack up uh, after caution number one, which caused this driver, Lursa Vandervoet, to flip over on a roof. was her first ever flip, and I think maybe her only one, but I'm not really sure. Well, here we've skimmed through. Well, we've been skimming through the field a lot. There's Molly Black. She had some issues. Oh, we had more trouble. Oh, wow. Austin Ogo involved. There's Dustin Caps. Second Caps involved. Dylan Young. John Andrews and Austin Ogo with a lot of damage. Best knees on pit road. Lays Gemma. We had two big wrecks over here. Well, one big one and one spin. Let's see what happened uh, first to Sam Young and Lisa Brown. After that, to the others. Ladies and gentlemen, I just had to uh, to pick like six or seven pens because none of them were working. I've grabbed my paper over here because we had flip number eight of the season. I'm not really sure what happened and what will uh, who it was, but we will check it. I have a feeling it will be best and nice. It was Joseph Ness who flipped over last season over here, and of course, Renes oh, it was Renesme Brown who also flipped over here but together with Paul Winners. That was really big wreck, but now, of course, Renesmee Brown is not driving. Her sister, Lisa Brown, is driving, and they had some issues, too. Let's see, Sam Young moves up the racetrack right in front of Tessa Jackson, who was having a great run. Well, not really smart move on the part of the 19 car, and Lisa Brown really ran hard into the 10 car. Nowhere to go for her. And it's... Oh, my dog is barking. 19 car saved it. No big issues for him. I don't think he even had... That much damage. Now we'll go on board with Lisa Brown. Now you can see clearly how bi how big the run of the 10 car was. Test out Jackson. Look at this. Yeah. Ooh. And then Lisa had pretty much nowhere to go. And now I will have to look where the other wreck happens. Um, and who was involved. 
uh, here something. No, I think it was further to the back. It probably had to do with Tessa Jackson being slow. Look at this. I just passed it at the right time, but I think there were not even there was not even well Charlene van Pelt was slowing down. I'm not really sure what her problem was, but she's slowing down. Then the wreck happened right in front of her. Lucky for her. Well, not, don't even know if she missed it, but we got over here Bassanese who got turned by the 12 car of Billy Bishop right in front right into the 31, and this is a hard hit. Ouch. Oh my goodness, Evan Gattuso. Oh my goodness, look at Evan Gattuso. Oh, and we got two flips. The 11 car also went over on his roof, but look at Evan Gattuso over here. The 5 car. Oh, Sam Young just got th by there. But that was a huge wreck over here. Evan Gattuso, Austin Ogo. Man, Evan Gattuso went in that wall hard. Really, really hard. There he is, on his roof. I mean, look at this, from very slow. Of course, there the 16 car gets turned. And here, look at this hit. He just goes into the wall. And there he goes, on his roof. Right on top of the 61 car. And we'll go to the 11 car later. There he gets hit by the 84 car, that is. Of Jackson... Phillips, no, 84 cars of John Andrews. What a huge wreck this was. I thought for first it was the 12 car who got turned around. Uh, the, they, they also went around. It's just a separate incident over here. Jocelyn van Aert, uh, second in points, actually turned the 40 car around. Then she was lucky to not get in this but still wow what a big hit and that is also a very hard hit I hope all these guys are alright but wow that was kinda amazing and I'm sure we are going to lose a lot of cars over here so it's time to get a full uh, how do you call it full speed uh, replay and then some onboard here we go I've got two so Wow. Evan, Evan Gattuso was actually lucky that there was... Um, or actually not Evan Gattuso, but Jackson... F the... What the heck are you doing, Crow, over here? Okay. Some birds, some crows annoying me. Uh, Evan... Where was I? Dustin Caps was very lucky that Evan Gattuso was right here. Otherwise, he would have gone head on extremely hard into the wall. But look at this. We got on board now with Evan Gattuso. Hang on tight. Wow. That was really amazing. Then a short replay of the 61 car, Bastanese, here we go. Wow, right on her hood. I mean, look at the fifth, look at the five car. It was right on her hood. Ouch. And he was riding the wall then. And now we go to the 11 car for the last replay of this huge crash, which took out a lot of guys. Hang on, coming. Oh, actually, the camera stayed alive. But I don't think that Dylan Young is going to... Well, I'm not sure. Maybe he will continue, but that would be very unlikely. We'll check on that, ladies and gentlemen. We got still John Cedino in the lead. Time to take you to the green flag. <laughs> Consequences of having such a long replay is this that we are not live anymore. We were live, but not anymore. Doesn't matter. We got John Cittadino in the lead. Jane Pinter is in second position. Third is Evelyn Lauder. Fourth is Trey Spencer. Fifth is Ingela Amelian. Sixth, eighth is Spencer. Seventh, Lurisa Vandervoet. 
8th is Jackson Phillips, 9th is should still Jacob Winston, and 10th is Joseph Onesto. So, points leader in the top 10. Jocelyn van Aert far behind. Trey Spencer and Aiden Spencer both in the top 10. Keith Black, I'm not even sure. 6th uh, in points, Anna Gregg was involved in the wreck. Keith Batson, 7th in points, was... Mm, well, he's towards the rear. Sam Young in 18 car, 80, or 19 car, 80 points, just went around. Joshua Michaels in 04 in 9th, probably going to be uh, 13th indeed, probably going to be just outside the top 10. And Ron Anderson was involved in the wreck, but he survived it. 10th in points. Who did not survive it? Well, here you have everybody. The Lisa Brown is, I'm pretty sure, out of, yeah, pretty sure out of this race. Oh, we have no lap traffic, so... Well, means the 42 and the 84 out. 31 is out. 11, 2, the 61, the 5, the 3. 28 and... Uh, 48 and the 29 were already out. Means that we have 31 cars still driving. And 31 of them are on the lead lap. Ladies and gentlemen, the pace car, pace car is pulling up. We got John Cittadino in the lead. And let's see... What he can do from the front row. We are green flag racing. John Cedadino has been leading all day long. But you never know what's going to happen. I mean, and probably I'm not even sure if we are going to have a caution soon. Oh! Man, that 09 car is really right on this bumper. Here comes Jane Pinter. Is he going to make a move? And if that move... What is that move going to be? Look at those cars. They are bump drafting. They are bum drafting. How about that? Oh, Evelyn Lotterer bottlenecked. Checked up there. Trying to get the 43 car from a rear bumper because, man, he's really moving her all over the place. Oh, what a save. And that actually gave her the lead. How is that possible? Evelyn Lotterer gets third and then instead of really losing that much, it really won her. And not only her, also Trey Spencer is now in second position. Well, guys, apparently you just have to turn each other. Then you will go to the front. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Trey Spencer on board. Live racing. Ooh, now he's going to move up the racetrack. Oh, I thought maybe we could have some bump drafting. Well, here we have some bump drafting. Three wide over here with the points leader. And there is Keith Black. And he's right behind this. Well, Michigan is such a fun racetrack. I will. Michigan has been in this. Oh, we got Tesla and Jackson slow over there. But Michigan has been in this series ever since the start, and will always be. And well, there we have it. Evelyn Lauder is still in the lead. Trey Spencer is coming though. Oh, can't make it. Exciting battles always. We always have exciting battles up front. With Evelyn Lauder, Trey Spencer, John Cittadino, Jane Pinter, and also all Aiden Spencer wants to join this party. Here comes Evelyn. Well, Evelyn's still up front, so she's not coming. Here comes John Cittadino. He is coming. And also Aiden Spencer. Larissa Vandervoet also coming. With the help from the rookie, Jacob Winston. One of the only rookies who is having a good run. And maybe one of the only ones who's still run. Uh, Blake Ho Blake Housechild is still running, and also Emily Michaels, but sh they are in the rear of the field, I think. And now Evelyn Lauder and John Cedino are checking out, and they have a hit. They have a history. Of course, remember L Richmond last season. John Cedino and Evelyn Lauder they wrecked each or they wrecked. Um, not going. To, don't not even know whose fault it was. It was probably just a racing accident. And otherwise, John Cedino would have never meant it to do that. So, ooh, we had spin over here. I'm not sure. Well, he's, I see some skid marks over there, so. Might have been a really good save by somebody. And I don't know by who. But look at this. Jacob Winston, rookie. Really impressive. Let's see how's in this busy group over here. Danica Kalicia getting a push from Joshua Michaels. Ooh, and Jocelyn van der Aert is right there. Ron Anderson is right there, Joseph Onesto, Keith Black, Tyson de Voet, Keith Batson, and here we have four whites almost. Billy Bishop, Sean Howell, look out. Jared Stymus, Hayden Klein, and Sam Brady. And there's Blake Housechild with Emily Michaels, the two rookies. 
Aileen the side to having a bad run. Dumb caps. Charlene six. Sam Young. Tessa Jackson. Molly Black. And Anna Greg. They have all been, of course, in tr in uh, issues. And well, Aveline Lutter is really pulling her weight now. She hasn't won uh, for uh, two seasons. I think her last win was at Texas season three. With a 0 0.001 seconds difference. That was one that was the amazing most amazing finish I've ever seen. But we're not there yet, of course. Trey Spencer is really looking to go and get his first ever win. John Cedino too tries to get his second win of the season. And he's looking for revenge to get his championship. And there Jane Pinter having a great run on the 22 car. Making the move underneath Aiden Spencer. And there's Larissa Vandervoet and Jacob Winston really having a great run. Rookie. Well, let's see what Trey Spencer has for Aveline Lauderer. Trey Spencer, 13 points. Aveline Lauderer, 14th in points. That's not really bad. Who the 33 has a great run over here. Here comes John Cittadino going to make a move. On board. We'll get some on boards. Look at them. They are bump drafting, I think. I think. Oh, now they are pushing each other. Not anymore. Well, they, those three cars have driven away from the field. And look at how fast this is going. That's really great. And Larissa Vandervoet is now in fourth position. Can't keep up with the group. But she, well, she has just passed a couple of people. Jane Pinter, Aiden Spencer, the sixth car of Jacob Winston is now... Getting full pressure by Jackson Phillips and two-time champion Inge Lambliana and points leader. Mm, this is going to be an interesting battle. Rookie versus season two. I think it's this. No, it's the. I didn't even know if it is the second or the third season of Jackson Phillips. I think it's the third season. Inge Lambliana, veteran. Danica Clisia, rookie. Ron Anderson and Keith Batson, uh, veterans. And over here, Joseph Monesto. And here you have three veterans. All three have never won yet in the Phillips Cup Series. Amazing. Oh, well, and here you have then veteran Sean Howell, who has already won like four or five times. And here we have rookie Jocelyn van der Aert, who has never won yet. This is her first season. Joshua Michaels has won uh, two times now. Both times it was a new paint scheme for him. Keith Black, freshest winner. Off the wire and 71 car of Tides from the Voot has not won yet. Billy Bishop has won the, the second race of the Phillips Cup Series, a veteran also. And Jared Steinmist also has won the Bristol race of season two, I think, a uh, veteran. Then we got Hayden Klein, well, he's starting to become a veteran, and rookie Blake Housechild. A Lena South, a veteran who has one win. Dom Caps is his. His third season I think and Sam Brady veteran now we got Emily Michaels rookie Charlene six season two Tessa Sound Jackson veteran of course and season two champion Sam Young is well not really a rookie but not a veteran too Molly Black is rookie Anna Gregg is season two and here we have the battle for the lead and we have not missed anything except for that the battle has heated up between Trey Spencer and Aveline Lotterer and here he comes Trader Spencer making the move. Can he make it? Oh, let's see. Going into turn number three. That's the preferred line. And I think he's got him. He's got him. Yes, he did. He is. And there's Trey Spencer in the lead. Trying to get his first win. John C. Dino in third. Larissa Vanderbilt in fourth. Jane Pinter fifth. And now with Jacob Winston is sixth. Means Inge Lambliana has fallen a little bit back. And also Aiden Spencer and Danica Clissi. Oh, oh, oh. Keith Batson now in 10th position. Well, Keith Batson was second in points. Now he is 7th uh, in points after bad finish at the uh, uh, dirt race. But it's Trey Spencer now in the lead. But I don't think Evelyn Lauder is done with him yet. It... And it is pretty much just as I expected. Two cautions early, in which the second one is the big one. And then a long green flag stretch. 
And if we would look, have looked at the test race, we would have another caution in f a few um, moments or laps. That will maybe end the race, but I'm not sure. Well, you never know what's going to happen. It doesn't seem like things are heating up. Well, actually... Well, we got some bump drafting, so that's always hot. Just live on the art. Well, I'm really surprised how good of a run she's having. Trying just outside the top 10. And all in all, you don't really have that much heated racing, though. No, I think we're fine. Aveline Lauder making a move on the 43 car again. Is she going to make it? And uh, look for the 33 car to join this group soon. Aveline Lauder. Who is John C. Dino going to help? Aveline Lauder or Trey Spencer? That's the question. Um, looking at the championship. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, he should actually help then. Trace. No, it doesn't matter at all. But Aveline Lauder does not make it. Let's just how good of a run you can get on the high side. Trey Spencer with just five more laps to go over. Compared to <laughs> compared to Utica race, uh, Rome Speedway and that race. It was re this is really calm race. <laughs> but still, it is all amazing great racing. John Cittadino now going to make a move on Aveline Lauder. Or no, Larissa Van der Voet is going to make a move on John Cittadino and Aveline Lauder perhaps too. Those two are very good friends, so maybe they are going to help each other. Larissa Van der Voet on the rear bumper of Aveline Lauder. Don't turn her though. Well, we've seen it happen a couple of times with very good friends turning each other. Larissa Van der Voet has to, had to check up and now John Cittadino is trying to go... Get back on her outside. Does not make it happen. And now Aveline Lauderer can make, try to make her charge on the 43 car again. While Jane Pinter is also trying to go underneath uh, Josh, John Cittadino. How, is the, how are they behind there? Jackson Phillips, Keith Batson, Inge Lamblian and Jacob Winston are really battling over here. Then Sean Howe. Ooh. Somebody hit the wall over here. No caution though. Okay. Ooh, lap traffic, how about that? And they are going to catch Anna Gregg before the end of this race, I think. Let's go on board with Trey Spencer, let's see how far in front she is. That could be last lap lap, tra last lap, lap traffic. So that's going to make things very interesting over here. One of these five people is going to win this race, that's for sure. And the only chance for these guys is if they have won... Very good run, and if Anna Gregg really holds up Trey Spencer, but they are right there. The sh I mean, like, they are really catching the 18 now. Look at this. Anna Gregg, here comes Trey Spencer. Can he maybe get a draft from her? Evelyn Lauderer and Lursa Vandervoet are right there when he gets held up, and he gets held up. How about Evelyn Lauderer and Lursa Vandervoet? They all get held up over here, and that has bunched everybody up again. Evelyn Lauder, Lursa Van der Voet. Can they clear this 18 car? No. Not freely. Here comes Jane Pinter with the run. As we got just one more lap to go when we cross start finish line. Trey Spencer and Evelyn Lauder is between those two. Can Evelyn get a good run on Trey Spencer? Here she comes. Here comes the 60 car. Evelyn Lauder with a great run on Trey Spencer. Can she do it? Side by side they go. Final lap. Three wide right behind there. Aveline Lauder has the lead now. Here comes John Cittadino though. Can the 43 make a run on her again? Here comes J Trey Spencer. This is going to be a side by side finish. Who will make it? Who will make it? Trey Spencer, Aveline Lauder. Side by side. For the lead. No, it won't happen. It is Aveline Lauder with a last lap pass who will win her first fourth race of the Phillips Cup series. Aveline wins oh crap <laughs> Oh my god How bad was that? Aveline Lauder wins it How about that move? Trey Spencer pretty much killed by lap traffic. Anna Greg really screwed things up over here but it made it so exciting Trey Spencer, so damn close to his first ever win, finishing second, getting past the last lap. How about that? 
That is truly amazing. Larissa Vanderwood managed to finish in third position. Amazing job by her. John Cittadino in fourth. And Jane Pinter in fifth. And here we got Jackson Phillips in seventh. Jake, uh, Jacob Winston in eighth. Ninth is Sean Howell. Who is then sixth. Jocelyn van Aert in tenth. Sixth is Keith Batson. So having a good run. But it's this little girl, Evelyn Lader, who has won her fourth race in the Phillips Cup Series. And this is her first win in two seasons. So it's time to give to send her a message over here. I mean, look at this. Holy smoke. Okay, going to send a message. We are in just in one big um, uh, group with, I think it, with, is, is, it is with five people, conversation with, uh, I'm there, uh, Evelyn is there, Aileen is Suite, and Larissa Vandervoet and another person who is not in the series. But still, how about this race? Oh man, Keith Black has retired with a header problem. Um, I'm not really sure what happened to... Him, you know what, we will just shortly track it out. Oh, look at Evelyn's lo um, uh, comments. Yay! Woohoo! Finally! Remember Evelyn Lutherer's nickname? It was The Closer. Of course, we had Kevin Harvick The Closer, but Evelyn Lutherer is even better closer. Four wins she has. First win came at Daytona. Last turn pass. Second win came at Dover. Okay, pretty much that was like she was leading the whole race. Uh, not the whole race, but at least a big part of it. Third win came at Texas. Last turn pass <laughs> with a 0 0.001 second difference. Fourth win, of course, here in Michigan with a last lap pass. That's truly amazing. And well, there is... Keith Black, I'm not really sure what his problem was, but, well, anyway, nothing serious. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> she calls herself good. Well, now I'm having to switch between Dutch and English, that's also pretty confusing. Well, we got a very interesting race over here, Evelyn Lauderer winning, Trey Spencer finishing second, he was third in points, but well, we have to look at Ingela Miliana. She finished 12th in points, or 12th. And well, the points difference between them was pretty much 32 points. So <laughs> Ingela Miliana will, of course, continue being the points leader. Uh, Larissa Vandervoet, the thir third in point, or uh, was finished in third. And she. Um, was, was, or she was 16th in points, she finished 3rd, great run for her. Jean Cidino was 12th in points, finishing 4th. Looking at those two, uh, that was a big difference, so... Jean Cidino will stay in front of Larissa Van Jane Pinter in the 09 car, solid run for him. He was 33rd in points though. Well, he's still, he's now, he's climbing now. Keith Batson in number 30 car, um, great run for him. Finishing in, se in uh, sixth position. He was seventh in points. He's going to climb for sure. Jackson Phillips in number 83 car. He was 41st in points. I mean, like one to last. Dylan Young is last in points. Where did Dylan Young finish? I don't even want to look at this. 35th. With a flip. Man, Dylan Young is really having a bad season. Just like Max Power, who was 40th in points. And Max Power, I think, is going to finish 41st, even worse. Ouch. Well, um, by the way, I just uh, forgot to men I forgot to mention the five people um, who... Um, oh, yeah, by the way, you have to comment on e uh, either one of the coming five races, so race 6, 7, 8, or 9, or 10... And if you don't do that, you'll also get be kicked out, just like the first it was in the beginning. But the five people who entered this race, uh, who entered the season this race, they have 113 points, which is the average of everybody. Makes them 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th in points. 
Although Jacob Winston, he will climb after his 8th place finish. Great job by Jam Jacob Winston. Sean Howell having a good run in 9th position. And Jocelyn van der Aert, 2nd at points, finishing in 10th position. And where is the 22? Actually, 13th. Well, it means that Jocelyn van der Aert will probably be... Mm, Keith Batson is going to pass to... Wow, I mean the points... I'm, I want to grab this paper over here. How is the points? Well, Inge Lamelian is far away. Then we got Jocelyn van der Aert, 144. Trey Spencer, 143. Anus Spencer, 141. Keith Black, 141. Anna Gregg, 140. Keith Batson, 139. Sam Young, 138. Uh, Joshua Michaels, 135. And Ryan Anderson, 133. So that's really close. Nick Caps finishing last. Indeed. I think this is... No, he did not finish last last time. Actually, uh, the 50, 59 car of Daniki Kalicia finished last the third and fourth race at the Brickyard and at Watkins Glen. Now she did amazing. Oh, she did pre pretty good. 14th position for her. But anyway, we're going to round things up over here with the message that we will have another race tomorrow. Probably, probably. I have to pick up my guitar from Harlem. Harlem, which is not from the Harlem Shake. Uh, but I have to. I brought my guitar there because I broke a string, and they are going. They were adjusting everything, and now I will have it back tomorrow, hopefully, because my father has a bad back and he cannot drive. Sucks. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the SoundCloud 400, not 500, but 400, with your winner, Evelyn Lauderer, who was. 14th in points, and he will crack the top 10, probably. Well, I see, yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure she will crack the top 10. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching race number 6 of 20. Um, I will, Joseph and Nesto, I will send the uh, um, files to you. I'm still not sure about spa Francorchamps being the another road course race, but pretty much Sandford is going to be a road course race and then of course we have the sun for 2006 version i think the dtm version great racetrack not sure about the racing but will probably be pretty good i will crank i will do some more testing but you will hear that from me like me on facebook or like the phillips cup series on facebook i should say you don't like me on facebook because you cannot um and all in all thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time at over for I don't know what race and how it's called. I'll still have to finish up the schedule and I will do that later. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Phillips Cup Series Season 5 2013. <laughs>